All right, so I posted on my Instagram uh, that I finally got brave enough to rattle can one of my rifles. I was so excited to get this thing done uh, that I did not really sit down and post a video on how I painted it. Um, idiot me. Uh, if I was thinking, I would have shown you what I did and how I prepped it and what I did to paint it. Like I said, this rifle kind of came to me um, with some of the leftover parts, and I just really wanted to do something with it. Um, but I'm super proud of how my first rattle can paint job turned out, and I've learned some lessons and want to play a little bit, and I figured I'd finally get a video up there. There's tons of great information out there on how to paint your rifle. Let me see what I can do here. Supplies you'll need uh, pretty much a $20 Walmart special. Um, Rust-Oleum camouflage. This is Army Green. This one is Deep Forest Green. And I have Earth Brown. Caps kind of give you an idea of what the color should be. Um, alcohol swabs in case I don't want to wipe anything down. Like I wiped a little bit of oil off of the upper and lower on the rifle that I did. Um, tape to mark anything off. Barrels, bolt carriers. Obviously you'll pull all that stuff out. Mag wells. Um, Anything you don't want to paint. Uh, Sharpie, I use that to draw designs on the tape and cut out by hand, which was very tedious, but that's how I got some of those fine lines and kept some of that stuff black on the gun itself. Um, was by putting tape on it and then spraying my colors on there. Tools to take grips off if you're gonna do that. Um, what I'm gonna be painting today is some mags and a grip and a stock. Um, so I've got a little area to paint with. Um, I'm going to have a couple of more things that I'll get rolling here in about two seconds. All right. So this is how I tape up a magazine. Obviously, pretty much from here up, I want to cover with tape. Uh, I do not want paint to get in the action of any of my guns. Um, I also want to keep the integrity of the magazine if I possibly can. Um, so I just kind of tape things up like so. And... Sure, I've got all the tape pretty much stuck as best of my ability around there. Just like that. So that's how I'm prepping the magazines. I've got a couple more to prep here uh, before we get rolling on the painting, but I will do that uh, off camera so I don't have to bore you guys. So here's what I'm gonna do is I wanna play around with the base layer. Um, and I'm gonna use, this is Army Green, which is the lighter of the three colors that I have. And I'm going to play with the base layer, and then I'm going to put those two on it, and then I'm going to switch out and do a different base layer on the other mags, just to see how it looks, and just to give something different, I guess. So, really kind of what I'm going for. Look at that, not even like five or 10 minutes and they're already almost completely dry. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shoot and, and kind of add a pattern to the mags and you can kind of see how it rolls. Um, some of this I'm gonna spray on the tape so the pattern kind of goes up and then fill out and I'll do one color, um, do another color and then probably flip them and go from there. So the important thing I guess to say from this whole deal is that um, if you hold it super close, you're gonna have a really fine line. Like if you rest the paper right on it, if you hold it farther away, you're just going to get a rough outline with no smooth edges. So for me, I want to want it kind of close. And I'm just going to hit it uh, just like that. And I'll probably do one more down here. And then maybe one more off to the side. Anything here? That color is Deep Forest Green, which is the middle of the two. And now I'm gonna throw with a different pattern, I'm gonna throw some Earth Brown on there, and we'll see how that looks. Oof. 
flip them over. Kind of helps to have some different patterns prepped up. That is essentially my experimentation with a light background, army green, uh, for these mags, uh, with the other two colors just kind of sprayed on. Um, I really didn't do front and back. Um, you could if you wanted to. For me, that's probably good enough uh, for what I'm doing. So I'll let these dry, then I'll probably peel the tape off. And those are what I would call good to go. Let me grab a couple more, because these I'm gonna wanna shoot with this color. This is the middle of the two. This is deep forest green for these two. And I'll do this last one uh, with the brown that I have. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of mix up some designs here and lay some down. Kind of see that I'm really liking the darker better than the lighter of the two. Uh, I'm gonna flip that and that. So there are those. On the last one is gonna get the super dark coating with the lighter of the two and the inside. And you can kind of see how that turned out. Not too bad compared to that. For me, it's kind of playing around, seeing what patterns do I like better. I think my favorite's gonna be the super dark as a base coat on the other two lighter colors as a camo pattern. Uh, that's gonna be my guess. I'm really probably not gonna know. I mean, the reason why I'm experimenting on the magazines is because uh, before I paint the stock and the grip, I really want to know what pattern is going to be the best. Oh, and I fucking use the wrong color. I put the cap on the wrong color. Try that again. Let it dry here and then I'll, I'll bring them all back because I don't think you really get a, get a good idea on color until they actually dry. So that's dry. These are dry. This one's obviously still wet. Uh, once it fully dries out, we'll come back and we'll take a look at the colors and uh, make a decision on what I'm gonna do with the buttstock and the other one. So I've got, uh, that's with the lightest color for a base coat. That's with the darkest for a base coat. Um, and that's the middle uh, for a base coat. And I gotta be honest, it's a toss up between these two right now um, but I'm pretty much leaning towards this. I mean, I think that I'm going to do the grip and the stock uh, with this pattern right here. Uh, it's, this looks to be my favorite as far as just a really good color. And the blends that I have, um, if you look at the rifle that I did, you can see that I did a mixture of both on the rifle. This color was back here, and this color I did up here. And I kind of did that split like right in here. So you can see part of that color up on the optic in the front of the receiver group as it moves forward. I like how it turned out and that's kind of the way I went. I think the stock and the grip that I'm gonna do for this other rifle that I'm building uh, is gonna be that. I'll give you a little sneak peek for the rifle that I'm doing. I literally just got this in the mail today. Uh, this is a Holt cage marked square forge 13629 socom upper this is what i'm going to use for a sop mod uh, block 2 build but this stock and the lower that i've already got um, is essentially what this is going to be for so i'm going to go with a stock um, and color that's going to have that type of a pattern to it and these mags will probably end up in this gun and i think we're going to call that done kind of match some of it up I don't really care about it rubbing off a little bit, but I think that's what I'm going to do.